In a previous post titled Animals of the Gods, I showed you that the wolf was a sacred animal for Apollo and Mars. The abyss and hell are allegories for winter. It is written in Revelation 9 verses 10 to 11, they had tails with stingers like scorpions, which had the power to injure people for five months. They were ruled by a king, the angel of the abyss. His name in Hebrew is Abaddon, and in Greek it is Apollyon. In an article titled The Best Resource Ever Made for Astrotheology, Mythology, and Religious Symbolism 101, I showed you how the five months of suffering, or the five wounds of the lamb, the stigmata, represent the five winter signs of the zodiac beginning with Scorpio, stingers like scorpions, and ending with Pisces. Abaddon is literally Father Lord slash God, or God the Father. The angel of the abyss is in fact the sun in winter, which is the reason Jesus is born on the day the sun rises its first degree after the solstice. The Trinity comes from Tremorti, the context of which is Eco Deva Tremorti, meaning one God, three forms in Sanskrit. However, I may prove that this comes from the Mediterranean originally, being brought to Asia, obsessed over, and then brought back to the Mediterranean. You will see this system going all the way back to the Phoenicians, and since Sanskrit wouldn't have made its way to the Mediterranean on account of it staying perfect and keeping to its own language rules, and since the Brahmins weren't allowed to go past the edge of what we now call Pakistan, I suspect it may have originated in the Mediterranean, if not the Americas. I wrote in the blackest of all magic, click the image, the Brahmins used Shiva, Shiva, as winter, Brahma spring, and Vishnu as summer. The Greeks used Hades as winter, Poseidon as spring, and Zeus as summer. The Romans allegorized winter as Pluto, spring as Neptune, and summer as Jupiter. Had I written this now, I probably would have used the word Brahma instead, on account of the subtlety of Brahm also pertaining to the unchanging reality amidst and beyond the world, which cannot be exactly defined. But they both come from the same place, and in similar fashion, Saturn, Kronos, Noah, etc., are the same function. They represent reality in which everything exists as well as the sun, depending on usage. The same goes for Brahm and Brahma, but Brahma is a more appropriate word pertaining to three aspects of the sun within the Trinity, Creator, Preserver, Savior, and Destroyer. Are you ready to learn about the Phoenician Etruscan archetype that these correspond to or descend from? Become a member to access the rest of this article. If you've never been a member and want a comped month to see if my work is a good fit for you, follow these simple instructions.